Hey, what is going on YouTube? So I finally got the live stream set up the way I want it. Sort of. <laughs> I need to get a better camera. Um, actually, I need to get a better phone or an SD card for my phone. That would probably probably be a lot better idea for sure. So um, anyways, <clears throat> so in this live stream, I just want to talk a little bit about resonance and um, over unity and how scalar wave technology works just to, just to, in a summarized form. I don't want to talk about it in like uh, a super advanced, you know, drain your brain kind of way. I, I want to talk fun in this conversation. So, um, so in the last five years, I have been doing research on Tesla and people like Nathan Stubblefield, Edward Leedscon and, uh, Marco Rodin, um, all these scientists, they've came across a lot of things and a lot of them were also great mathematicians. Now, if a lot of you don't practice at math, I highly recommend that you do because memorizing numbers and certain number patterns is probably a good thing to know. Um, like for instance, when I started understanding how the 369 idea worked, uh, it combined with the Fibonacci sequence. And now I'm starting to realize that these coil designs I make uh, resonate with frequency patterns. And uh, I need this in a oscilloscope to help me read the exact resonance of each coil that I build. Uh, but anyways, to get right to the point, um, this right here is one of my new little modifications. This is based off of my math. Um, a lot of you that have looked into sacred geometry, uh, I hope this gives you an understanding of just how far you can push it. It's really unique and uh, it drains energy like crazy. Uh, especially if you have no coding blocking the wire. But what's really unique about this is it draws high amps and low volts. So when I put my voltmeter up to it, <sighs> okay. So we'll turn it on to amps. And first what I'm going to do is I'm going to short it out. Uh, I'm going to pinch the one wire over here. So that way we pretty much have a complete coil system, right? Now, when I do this, when I pinch that coil shut, and leave the other end of the coil open, then that gives me a resistance altogether. If you have a resistance altogether, then that means you are able to um, technically collect a pinched amount of energy from the air. But when it comes to scalar wave tech, it's all about a perfect balance. So you want to have two circuits that's perfectly balanced, able to send out a uh, perfect uh amplified energy in return for what they're absorbing if that makes any sense uh like a like a feedback generator so to speak if you look into don smith's work that'll give you a great understanding of how uh, scalar waves and, and resonance works because according to his book if you tap into a 20 kilohertz frequency and higher hence this is a 20 kilohertz frequency then you are able to break the resistance barrier. Basically, there is no resistance generating in this. If uh, what, what slows this frequency down, what slows the energy down is induction, high induction, high, imper high permeability. It's not induction, my bad. Don't listen to those words. Permeability, a high permeability will cause uh, the energy to not flow right in high frequency circuits. So keep that in mind. But high induction now, that's a different story. It seems that in induction, 
works very well if you have multiple layers. Uh, high current, I I didn't think would work so well on this, but let me show you what kind of current draw I get when I just put my one lead down to the globe here. <sighs> okay, so I got my one lead here. And this thing does have a bite to it sometimes, so I try to be wary. Okay, so I'll... You see my voltmeter turned off. I'll turn it to the amp setting. I'm going to turn on my light. This is my $129 meter here. Let me turn off the light. That doesn't help. What's that saying? Oh, it's saying it backwards, isn't it? Okay, so for current, I am getting currently uh, 10 amps. So I'm getting 10 amps of current right there. Just open circuit. Uh, it's not short out to the other end of the coil. So what do I get for voltage on an open circuit? Uh, let me untangle these wires. Uh, voltage on an open circuit. I get, right now, I'm getting only 300 millivolts. Only 300. So 300 is not, oh, 500 now. 700. Oh, well. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so anyways, when I ground, when I pinch the coil off, I start to notice that uh, the volts, oh, what's going on here? The volts drop all the way down to its resistive voltage rating. I believe. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not even just barely even getting any voltage. It's spiking. And there is current, too. It's saying I'm getting current. That can't be right. I'm guessing, I'm guessing I had pinched the coil shut somewhere. It's saying I'm getting four. Oh, wait, it came off. Okay. I'm still saying I'm getting one amp of power. I'm not 100% sure on that one, though. One amp. That's crazy. One amp at. Oh, wow. Well, one amp at 50 millivolts. That is very low. Okay, so one, <laughs> one amp at 50 millivolts is insanely low. So anyways, now that I showed you the part where it was pinched off at the one part of, one half of the circuit here, I'm going to unpinch it. So I'm going to go one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I believe right here. So I should have two closed. On that side, yep, two closed on this side. And then I can do this. Now I can use the other half of the antenna as my ground and generate more voltage. So now I'm up to uh, roughly. 0.9 of a volt to nearly a volt uh, and the current I am drawing it's spiking a lot if I had a capacitor it would probably help with the current draw but the current is saying roughly <laughs> it's spiking be between like 5 and 9 amps it's crazy high current um, but anyways I, I had a bulb a light bulb earlier an 8 watt light bulb that would uh, power with ease whenever I hooked it up to this circuit and um, I'm kind of curious just how far I can go with it because <laughs> you can you can turn this thing into a pretty good energized weapon really you could stack multiple circuits onto this thing okay so if I if I hook this up to my rectifier just the one lead ouch God damn it, shocked me.
Okay. <laughs> It'll actually start charging up my circuit here. I just wait for it. I don't want to kill my computer. Hold on. All right, we're going to let that charge for a second. And now I'm going to show you what it does when it discharges. It creates a heck of a spark gap with the ground, too. All right, that should be enough. Let's see if it discharges. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> so that's what it, that's what happens when you have uh, this high frequency hooked up to some high voltage su supercapacitors. Um, so what I'm about to do is I'm about to step up this amperage, low voltage, into high voltage and hopefully high amperage because of the the high frequency. So I hope this guy, this helped you guys understand uh, a lot about what I'm doing. Oh, don't want to get shocked again. Check this out. I might be able to do it again. Oh, that was a tiny one. Okay. It's uh, very dangerous to have these laying around because if you touch it on accident, it could kill you. No, for real. It could kill you. <laughs> uh, anyways, I hope this helped you guys understand a lot about what I'm doing. Uh, I want to maybe try hooking up capacitors to this. Let me know what you guys think about that. Capacitors, maybe turning it into a resonant series circuit of some kind at pumps. I'm trying to figure out how to make this more efficient. Now, I am finding it, <clears throat> finding it fascinating that it is high amps. Okay, so high amps means we got a lot of magnetism to work with. So if we can look into ways of building uh, an advanced resonant circuit of some kind, then I believe we could really push it to the next level with the energy production and just calling it quits to the whole thermodynamic thermodynamics scam that we are still getting played by. Uh, so once again, guys, thank you again for watching my channel and watching this stream today. I hope I didn't bore you. And, uh, like I said, the more subscribers I get, the more views I get, the more it can help fund the channel. Uh, the bigger we can make these projects, the more results we are going to get. So, all right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, peace. And if you need help with coils, feel free to comment below. Message me. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. Also, follow my page, Amity, uh, <laughs> Amidian Global Gills. All right, guys. See you later.